Hi, it's Miss Debbie at the Bernards Township Library. Welcome to Twilight Tales. Tonight we're going to be reading some stories and singing some songs about feelings. Feelings like happy and sad. But first we're gonna sing our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Okay, welcome everyone. The first thing we're going to do tonight is learn two words in sign language, and the first word is happy. And we have to make a happy face while we're doing this, so we have to smile. Okay, we're going to take our hands in front of us and we're going to smile and we're going to swipe them upwards like this. Happy. Happy. You try it with me? Happy. Okay. For sad, you have to make a sad face. Can you make a sad face with me? Then we take our hand and we pull it in front of our face. Sad. Can you try it? Sad. So we have happy, sad. Okay, now we're going to do a felt board and we are going to sing a song. I'm going to put some faces up here and hopefully you can help me to figure out the feelings that go with these faces. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a... What do you think? Right, a happy face looking at me. Okay, let's see what's next. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a... Sad face looking at me. Let's try another one. What do you think of this one is? I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a... What do you think it is? That's right. A surprised face looking at me. Can you make a surprised face? <gasps> right? I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a... Uh, what kind of face is that? Can you make one? It looks like a scared face. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a scared face looking at me. Okay, let's try another one. There we go. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a, what do you think? A silly face looking at me. Can you make a silly face? Okay, and for our last one, I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a, Sleepy face looking at me. All right, good job. For our first story tonight, we are going to read Silly Tilly. Silly Tilly is by Eileen Spinelli, and it's illustrated by David Slonim, and we're reading it with permission from Marshall Cavendish Publishing. Tilly was a silly goose, a daffy, downy, and dilly goose, who took her baths in apple juice. She wore a pancake as a hat. She tried to ride the farmer's cat. She kissed a fish. Imagine that. She is silly.
Tilly liked to tickle frogs and kick a pickle to the hogs and hop on top of soggy logs. She combed her feathers with a rake. She sailed pig's pail across the lake. She sat on rooster's birthday cake. One day, her friend said, that's enough, enough of all your silly stuff. Their barnyard voices sounded gruff. No more naps in scarecrow pants. No packing piglet off to France. No yodels at the harvest dance. She really is a silly goose. The weeks went by and Tilly Goose stopped being such a silly goose. Good job, said cousin Billy Goose. She looks so sad though, right? Now she has a sad face. It happened though that Hedda Hen remarked, I haven't laughed since when? Hmm. Since Tilly chased the garbage man. Since Tilly sneezed, said Harvey Goat, and blew the fleas from Farmer's coat, and set his underwear afloat. Oh no. It's Dullsville on the farm. No fun. I think I speak for everyone, said Horse. I know what must be done. And so they did apologize with quacks and oinks and heartfelt sighs to Silly Tilly's great surprise. They need Tilly to make them feel silly and happy again. Now Tilly's back to hear old to her old ways. She soaks her foot in mayonnaise and sleds downhill on cookie trays. Wow. She glues blue glitter on the plow and turns six cartwheels, cartwheels on the cow. She's doing cartwheels on a cow. And all the farm is happy now. They look very happy. The end. And there's Tilly being silly standing on her head. Silly can be a good feeling, right? Makes people happy. Okay, let's do our song about, it's a stretching rhyme, and I think you've done it before. We're gonna put our hands up high. So reach up with me. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows in the middle and quack, quack, quack. That's a silly song, right? Let's try it again. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows in the middle and quack, quack, quack. Okay, for our next book, we're gonna read My Friend is Sad. My Friend is Sad. And this book is by Mo Willems, and I'm reading it with permission from Hyperion Books for Children. There's Piggy, Piggy and Elephant. Let's find out why Elephant is sad. 
Oh. My friend is sad. I will make him happy. There's Elephant and there's Piggy. He's saying, yee-haw. Like he's on a horse, right? A cowboy? Oh, looks like Elephant's getting happy, right? No, oh, he looks sad again. Oh. Gerald loves cowboys, but he is still sad. Can you do the sad face? There's Piggy, and Piggy is juggling, right? A clown? <gasps> Looks like Elephant's getting excited. Clowns make people happy, right? Oh, he looks sad again. Clowns are funny, but he is still sad. Uh-oh, now Piggy looks like he's dressed up as a robot. And Elephant's still looking sad. A robot! Look how excited Elephant looks. How can anybody be sad around a robot, Piggy asks. But Elephant's still slumping. Piggy says, Gerald. And then Elephant says, Piggy. I am sorry. I wanted to make you happy but you are still sad. I am not sad now. I am happy. Hmm, I wonder what made Elephant happy. Piggy says, you are happy? I am happy because you are here. <laughs> but I was so Sad, Piggy, so very sad. Poor elephant. Then he says, I saw a cowboy. And Piggy says, but you love cowboys. I do love cowboys, but you were not there to see him. Oh no. Was Piggy there? Elephant didn't know that Piggy was the cowboy, right? Well, in fact, I, says Piggy. And then Elephant says, there was more? Then I saw a clown, a funny, funny clown. <laughs> Piggy's thinking the clown was me. But you were not there to see him. <laughs> there was more. I saw a robot, a cool, cool robot. And my best friend was not there to see it with me. But, um, you see, I think he's trying to tell him he was there, but he says, I am here now.
You are? You are here now. My friend is here now. Now Piggy's all happy. There's the two friends looking very happy, right? I need my friends. And then Piggy says, you need glasses. <laughs> That's the end. My friend is sad. All right. Let's shake our sillies out. Can you shake your sillies out with me? Ready? We're going to shake our hands. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Can you jump? I'm going to jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm gonna yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out and wiggle my waggles away. All right, for our last story, we're going to read I'm Not Sleepy by Jane Chapman. And I'm reading this book with permission from Good Books. All right, I see an owl that says, I am not sleepy. Sleepy is a feeling, right, when you're tired? At bedtime, Grandma always carried Mo up to the top of the tree. It's a long way up for a little owlet, she puffed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Grandma smoothed the soft leaves into a cozy nest and sat Mo carefully in the middle. Play with me, giggled Mo. No, sweetie, it's time for bed, smiled Grandma, and she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. The stars were fading when Grandma heard a rustle. Is that you, Mo? Yes, I haven't had my bedtime snack. The bedtime snack. How could I forget, thought Grandma. So she took one. Hop, jump, flutter, flump to the top of the tree. Grandma sat and waited for Mo to finish his bedtime snack. Play with me, Mo snuffled. Between mouthfuls? No, honey bun, time to go to sleep, said Grandma and she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. The last bats were going home when leaves began to rain down from above. Mo, Grandma called, is everything all right? No, and I'm not tucked in. He's not tucked in, sighed Grandma. Up we go. Hop, jump, flutter, flump, right to the top of the tree. Grandma plummeted and prodded and tucked and rolled until Mo looked like a wriggly green pancake. Play with me, he laughed. No pickle, it's bedtime, said Grandma. No more noise now unless there is an emergency. And she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. He's just not tired, is he? Not sleepy. Grandma sat in the stillness. All was quiet at last. She was just about to start reading when, Grandma, Grandma, it's an emergency. It's an emergency, thought Grandma. Oh my goodness. What is it? What's the emergency, puffed Grandma. I'm not sleepy, said Mo. I don't want to go to bed. I want to play.
Grandma squeezed into Mo's cozy nest next to him. The thing is, Mo, it's bedtime, and at bedtime, someone has to go to bed, she said. So I have a very good idea. I'll go to bed, and you can stay up. Yes, 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 laughed Mo. And you'll need fresh leaves and a bedtime snack and tucking in, and every time I come up, I'll blow you a kiss. Mo was very busy. He didn't have time to play. It was hard working putting Grandma to bed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Most of the stars were gone when a little voice called up from below. Grandma, I'm really sleepy. Of course you are, Poppet. It's very late, said Grandma. And she hopped down the tree to her favorite outlet. On my back, she said. Hop, jump, flutter. Grandma carried Mo all the way up to his nest, flump, at the top of the tree. Grandma snuggled Mo down and folded soft leaves over him. Time for bed, she smiled. Then Grandma smoothed Mo's feathers gently, blew him a kiss, and hopped back down the tree to her book. Now he looks sleepy, right? That's the end. I'm not sleepy. Okay, let's get ready to sing our good night song. Are you ready? Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. Good night, and I'll see you next week.